Hit him! Oh! Healing drag! Do I need to reel this one out? Yeah, you might. I don't know if that's a garfish or what. South Louisiana, baby, that's what we out here for. Hey, what's going on, folks? Bill Jr., Pure Cage and Outdoors. Back with a crazy video this week, man. Went out into the lake to try to catch some mullet for a huge announcement that we're going to be making soon. Uh, went to go catch some mullet. We had Swamper from Swamp Sticks Custom Rods came down, joined us. Uh, we went caught some mullet and decided to do a little fishing while he was down here. So we wasn't at the dock on the camp where y'all normally see me fish at in a lot of videos, but we was in the bayous around it, just in the boat. Dropping lines with some mullet, shad, things like that that we had caught in the lake uh, for this trip that I was going on. Caught the craziest fish of my life. Y'all gonna have to watch the video to check it out. I've never caught one this far. Now after hurricanes and stuff, we've had black drum coming to the bayous and everything. Uh, flounder, things like that. Uh, even with the bull shark situation, sometimes they'll come up in the bayou. After a hurricane, if we're on the side that gets a pretty good storm surge, etc., we'll see them. But I caught a huge right here in the bayou by the camp. Blew my mind. Did not expect it at all. Nonetheless, we got it. <laughs> so, caught a few more gaff top after that. Not a real long video. Uh, I've been super busy with some other stuff that I will announce soon as I can. And, uh, so uh, i'm trying to just get some content out real quick for this week so anyways y'all stay tuned we got some big announcements coming pure cajun outdoors across all social media platforms swamp sticks custom rods go check them out follow them on TikTok. he's always there building custom rods about to unveil the new pure cajun outdoors rod that that he built and uh <clears throat> man once again bayou bouncer with pure cajun outdoors on all places where you can hear podcast set new episodes go up every wednesday morning bright and early so you can listen to it on your ride to work other than that man pure cajun outdoors across all social media platform pure cajun outdoors at gmail.com catch y'all on the next one go he's off that was a go huh? yeah i'm not upset that he got off this will make it better. Oh, you put the bait click on? Yeah. Dang. That's <laughs> him over there, too. I guarantee you that was him. I was about to say, man, you should think that clutch a line. Might have been a shark. It was swimming kind of fast to be uh, a garfish. It did fish. take off kind of quick, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's the first thing I see. Like, dang, that boy rolling. You over here playing around. That might have been your blue cat that would have just nailed it and bent it over. <laughs> nah, if that was a blue cat. You know he'd have still had it in his mouth. Oh, maybe. I couldn't tell what it was that bust the surface of the water over there. I mean, my look is the yellow cat just done come sucked it up and sitting on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which would be some pretty good luck as long as I hook him and get him to the boot. I would not be upset about it. Some would say it would be the best of some luck if you can catch him and pull him in. Yes. Big 80 pound goujon. Pull that up like that. Take oh, a picture yeah. and send them Geronimo bro and then we take a picture throwing them in the ice chest. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Eat your heart out, bro. This is how you treat Look, catfish. Geronimo, this is what you do with a big yellow cat. <laughs> Seal cat. That is gap top all day long. But it must be a little bit of one. <sighs> oh yeah, that's gap top all day. He might be hooked too. He's still on it, bouncing it for sure. Yeah, you might want to put that in your hand and see. That's a circle hook or what? Pretty sure that's a fig sticker. Oh yeah, you should be able to self-set that bad boy. Then. 
hem him up and show him who's the boss. Especially if you feel all them old aggressive head shakes again like that. <clears throat> you miss that? He was like, I don't know what I just felt. Something just yeah. Oh, boy, well, I saw you tense up. You was about to go for it. <laughs> False call. <laughs> one of these times is going to be close enough to his face. Oh, yeah. That's the one we're waiting on right there. Steady eating on it. Do it again. Steady eating on it. Still biting it. See that left one is still getting hit too. Got all kind of things going on around here. <laughs> I will snag you, boy. All right, folks. So what's going on here is the bayou is currently kind of on the salty side. So there's some gaff tops we believe biting on this rod right now. So he's going to hold it in his hand and see if he can't set it by hand. Look at them gal tops, man. If y'all ever caught them, y'all know they bite kind of finicky sometimes. So that's what he's trying to do. He's still hitting it. Ever so gently. But you can feel big bites. Gal tops are pretty strong. You can feel big bites and it can still be a somewhat small fish. And they're typically not known to just engulf the bait. They kind of take it and tear pieces off of it at a time. Yeah, it got to be a pretty big gaff top for them to just yeah. hit it and hang on to it. You still hitting it? He ain't full yet. Uh oh. The left one just hit. Mine? Yeah. Done crossed over? Yep. Damn. <laughs> yeah, he was on there the whole time, folks. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Fish been on there. <laughs> He's over there wondering, man, why you keep yanking my mod like that? Just rip me in. <laughs> you over there setting a the hook on him ten times. And that, people, is a gaff top, a.k.a. Sail Cat. Nocturnal Nation pig sticker. Extremely slimy. You got a bite on your, your left, left rod? Yeah, I think it's probably another gaff top. More than likely. I don't want to touch him because I know he's slimy and nasty. Swamp sticks cost some rods. <laughs> think that one actually took the hook? Yeah. Oh, feeling drag. Do I need to reel this one out? Yeah, you might. I don't know if that's a garfish or what. Whatever it is, it's big, and I think it's a gar, though. Gotta be right. 
You know, I got a lot of head shake, but he just was swimming so fast. He's heavy, whatever he is. <clears throat> oh. He's heavy and he looks mad. Yeah, and he's pulling drag too. Most of my catfish don't do that. But you never know. We about to find out though. You got the shad? Mullet head piece. Fucking red Big fish. red fish, dude. <laughs> Oh, boring. Big boring. <laughs> Bull red in the bayou, baby. Pig sticker. Now, Colonel Nation pig sticker, baby. Right in the corner of the lip bone. Let's go! Pure Cajun Outdoors, Bull Reds in the bayou, bro. First one I've caught in this part of the bayou right here. Big Bull Red. Let's go, Nocturnal Nation Pig Stickers, Hellcat Rise. Let's go.